All right, I have a question. Do we have any newbies on here tonight? Yay, okay. Any others? Can't see. Okay, so I'm just gonna tell you a couple things. Um, probably gonna use this video for newbies from this point on, so I'm gonna very keep it as concise as possible and as not generic, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna go into just a little bit about what we have coming up this, for the rest of the month, but I'm not gonna go into great detail so that this will apply to any time we want a newbie to watch um, one of our Zoom calls so that we can see how to get started with Plexus. This will be a good video to watch. So, I um, feel like there was something I was about to do. Okay, so I know we had a lot of people join recently um, because of the special. And what I have noticed and has been brought to my attention is the very simplest, most basic things and the understanding of how this business works and how we can use these um, Zoom calls, for example, can be key to whether somebody gets kicked off in the business or not. And so, for example, um, if, if you're not sending the link to uh, these weekly calls to your new to, to your new people, then it would be, well, it would be good that you did that and that you explained what they are, especially if it's someone you think is going to be weirded out that I pray. You might want to let them know that. Um, that's not the most important thing. It's really important that new ambassadors, and this is where I'm about to go down a list, okay? New ambassadors need to know what their own link is. It, if you sponsor someone, your job as a new sponsor is, in my opinion, to send them their new link. Like, if they're not sure what it is, investigate until you figure it out. If they're like, I don't remember what I typed, make that a priority so that they know what the link to their website is. They know that they're, they know their ambassador number and they have a script for exactly how to join. Like, it basically, um, here's what I do when someone says to me, I'm ready to get started, or hey, I have someone who's ready to get started. I say, okay, send them this. And that's the, the first thing is that your link. This is the order in which I do this. I just want you guys to know. If I signed you up this week, you know that this is what I did. I sent you my link. And then I sent you a voicemail that said, Okay, so this next thing that I'm about to send you is going to look a little wordy, but really what it is is detailed instructions about how to get started, the steps that you go through. If you're one of those people that doesn't like to read the instructions, you like to just butt, bust something out of a box and start putting it together, then you can just get on there and create your account on your own. It's like setting up an Amazon account or something like that. You don't have to look at all of these steps as you go through it. But if you're a person who likes to have the steps in front of you, what I'm about to send you is gonna help you with that. And then I send them the little thing that has the little leaves. I'm gonna show you so you'll recognize it. Okay, hang on. It's got the little, um, looks like little aloe vera leaves and it's the steps. Select enroll as an ambassador. Scroll to the bottom and go to the create new account. If you don't have that, don't worry. I'm going to put these notes, okay? I'm going to put these notes for our call on our um, team page. All my team pages, okay? Now, what I just did and the reason, the motivation behind why I did that is because there are personality types out there and some people will look at the, that it's, if they look at this and it's like, looks like 15 steps and each step is a, like full blown two or three sentences. They'd be like, I don't have time to do this right now. Where they would, if they were ordering something off, you know, a new website, they might be like, oh yeah, okay, just fill out my name. Okay, click that, click that. But that's not what the instructions look like. The instructions look like it's going to be more difficult than that and it's not. So I tell them that I'm about, before I send them those instructions, I tell them, these are very detailed. You don't have to follow them if you don't want to. Does that make sense to everyone why I do that? Okay. So I've 
hit both personality types, and then I wait a few minutes and I say, do you need any help? I signed up four people. The Yeah, I signed up three and the four, fourth one didn't, didn't, fall, didn't come on through. Like it'll come through before the end of the month, but it didn't happen the other night. I, all in the same night, and that was the night that we did the um, party. And the reason I, that it worked that way, the reason I was able to sign up three people all in one night is because I, I held my phone in my hand and I, I baby walked each one of them through it, the ones who wanted the baby walking. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like I said, how you doing? Did it work? Because you know that time is of the essence, right? When you throw your website out at someone or whatever and then you disappear for 45 minutes, if they lose the motivation later, you may not ever catch that motivation again. When it's party night, when we're doing a launch party and, or when the company has a great promo or if there's any great reason that people might be showing interest, it behooves you for your business to block out those areas of time so that you, and we don't, I mean, we don't have control of the calendar. Like we're all working, you know, on one calendar. So it's not like you have to do this every time or you're screwing up. There's not anything like that. But I'm saying if you, th you want to know my best advice, then when you get the calendar for July, you look at it and you go, okay, that Tuesday night, I probably need to do my very best to be available, okay? And also that Monday night, the same week, I need to make sure there are at least 10 people in that group so that it would make sense for me to not do anything on Tuesday night. You understand? The worst thing is to think, man, I'm going to get a bunch of people in that group. And then only end up with one in there. And so you get your whole Tuesday tied up hoping one person might do something. It's way more effective and everything. If you get 10 people in there and then you got some hopping people asking questions, okay? Now, new ambassadors need their ambassador number and they need their link and they need a step-by-step -step that is saved in the notes in their phone that they can send when they have a new prospect. Also, new ambassadors need to know about the calendar. You need to say, hey, the cover photo, photo in the butterfly page is almost always a calendar. Um, at the top of my, and if those of you who are not on my team, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about so that you don't think, I wish I knew what she was talking about there. I'll show you. What I do, if you have your own team page and you wanna do this, I just go and type in, July 2018 calendar in Google, okay? And then it'll pull up a blank calendar and then I pull it over to a place where I can type text on it and I use word swag and I, I type out what's gonna be happening. On Wednesdays I have that there are Zoom calls. Uh, I have that we've got a Kickstart challenge going right now and then um, a gut health group. We, we did the Freedom launch on this past Sunday and then the gut health group that's coming up on the 23rd uh, through the 27th. That's helpful for newbies to know, hey, there's a calendar at the top. If you're looking for what's coming up next, I'm giving you some like new ambassador. And if you are new, I mean, if you're, if you're sponsoring new people, you need to know that this is the step, these are the steps you need to walk them through. If you're new, you need to ask your sponsor, hey, I need to know what my link is. I need to know the sign up instructions. Perhaps you want to save a graphic on your phone that shows like it looks like a tic-tac-toe thing, step one, step two, step three. So if people are visual and they want to know how to join. The reason you want this all to be streamlined is because there's nothing more frustrating for anyone than to need information at a point and they can't find it or get it from someone. Does that under, do you guys understand what I'm saying? Like if they're sitting there and they're talking to someone and they're like, I don't know what my website is. Like they're getting their hair done. And they happen to stumble in a conversation and they're like, yeah, I did this thing the other day. And the hairdresser is saying, that sounds so cool. How do I look at that? And they go, I, I don't know. I mean, like, let me see. And they try to get in touch with you and they're like, I can't get her. There's nothing more like clumsy looking and feeling and all of this than to say, I don't know. <laughs> so they need to be equipped with that. And it's our jobs when we sponsor people I usually will go screen capture the email that I get that has their ambassador number. You know, it sends me an email that says, you, hey, you just sponsored someone. I screen capture that and I send it in a message between the two of us. 
and I say, do you know what your website was? What did you pick for your website? If they say, oh yeah, I think it was my first and last name, I type it into the, to the bar, uh, to the, um, gra uh, like the Safari bar at the top on my phone. I'm usually on my phone when I'm doing this. You could type it in a, in a web browser on your um, computer too. I type it in there and I pull up their website according to, you know, it'd be like shopmyplexus.com or whatever one you want to use as the, the dot com. And then slash, for example, um, uh, Misty Blankenship, if that, if that was their website and click it. And then if nothing comes up, then I think, oh no, that's not what they did. If something comes up, I go and I, I hit the little envelope that looks like an email. I hit that at the top and it pulls up their email address. Like it's going to let me email them. I screen capture that and say, is this your email address? Or I go and look at the email that I got from them and say, make sure that everything's lining up so I'm not sending them someone else's website or I'm not confirming for them that that is their website. Everybody understanding me here? Okay. That's how you can confirm that. Yep. That you right. You got it, girl. That's it. And I send them their website to them so that I have that between the two of us, because here's another frustration. They text me while I'm at the hairdresser and they need their website and I'm busy or my hair's, you know, whatever. And I can go, hang on a second, scroll up. There it is. I can send it right back to them because it's in the messages between us. For new ambassadors, it's probably recent that, and you can find it. If they're old ambassadors, they need to quit losing it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've had that happen too. It's like, quit losing your website. <laughs> okay. You need to tell them, write down your password. Let's keep all this information in one spot. It's just helpful for everyone. Write down your password. Keep it in one spot. Put it in the notes in your phone and write down the word Plexus. Those of you who may not know this, if you're on an iPhone, this may not work on all phones, but I go into the notes in my phone and at the top where all my notes, okay, here we go. Where all my notes are like this, if I pull down, I'm gonna get this, okay. If I pull down right there, it's gonna give me a search bar. You just pull down on the whole note thing, everything. And they'll give you a search bar and you can go, oh, Plexus. And if you have a place where you've kept your Plexus, anything you've ever written Plexus about or passwords, or if there's anything that you wanna be able to look up quickly, like sometimes I'll write out a post that I'm gonna make later and I don't wanna post it yet. I'll put it in the notes of my phone. All I have to do, I think, when did I write that? I don't know. And instead of going and searching for it, I'll just type in maybe the word membership or something I know I typed. Um, these are little things that I wish I had known <laughs> a long time ago when I, on, before I knew these things. So use those little things to make your business flow smoother. Now, if you are a newbie, one of the most effective tools that we have are the online events. I fought the online events when I first learned about them. I thought, I hope, I'm so glad no one ever invited me to an online event. Or once I started getting invited to online events, I thought, oh, people quit putting me in online events. But if you work the steps, which are, you ask people permission to add them to a group. We've seen evidence that people have not been invited. Like someone went on a full blown, um, blaspheming fest the other day in one of our events because they were like, who the bleepity bleep added me to this group? And then they start saying, hey, and they're like making a big production out of it. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I go, I'm like, you can bet that I'm going to chase down who added them to that group and have a conversation because I don't need everybody's everybody seeing that. So ask the people, hey, you don't have to say, hey, I'm going to add you to this thing that you don't have to go into a lot of detail. You just need to get them, make them aware so that they don't have a, you know, a little bleep fest in the middle of the group teaching you a lesson. Basically, when somebody does that, they're just spanking you for not asking their permission. Okay. I've wanted to do that. If I wasn't like in my own professional business before, I have wanted to say, what is this? What are y'all doing? Selling some junk in here? You know, like, you know, people feel that way because when you get added to a group without your permission, you think another group. So. 
I love to put posts on my wall, my own Facebook profile, games or guessing games, things that I can do to draw out people's interest the day before or the day of a party. You guys have seen me give away the little earrings where I'll say, hey, we'll have this fun little game here and every, every now and then I'll come in and I'll give away a pair of earrings. And I'll say, and, and if you'd like to be added to our group, say, add me. Well, depends on who all's commenting. If they say, add me, then I'm gonna add them. Even if they don't say add me and they comment several times, I may send them a message and say, hey, can I add you to that group? I think you'd like it. We're giving away more prizes like that. And if they say yes, then I add them to the group. Okay, I'm just giving you guys some ideas. This is what I would like to call working it the right way. You're adding people to the groups that don't mind being added. And then you're gonna remind them the day of the event. You're gonna say, hey, um, just wanted to let you know the thing starts at seven tonight. Um, and I'm gonna tag you in the post where the prizes are so that you can see what we're giving away. That way they, what you're doing is you're tagging them so they can see the prizes, but also they have a notification sometime that day that they don't have to go, I don't remember the name of this group. What, what, what? You know, people are too busy to have to do your job for you, okay? That's your job. So, if you add someone to a group, make sure that you come back in and say, uh, on the day of, you say, hey, I'm going to tag you in the post. Don't forget, set an alarm in your phone. I'll remind you a few minutes before. Okay, cool. See you tonight. Keep it lighthearted. The easier that you make it without <clears throat> giving people too much information, the more they're gonna look at this business with simplicity rather than think it's something complicated. Also, one more thing I wanna to touch on. As new ambassadors, many times you may feel that you have to know lots of things and know all the answers to all the questions before you can effectively work this business. And let me just say that I'm staring at tons of living proof that that is not true. You can start working this business the minute you have your own link. And you can do that by adding people to groups. And when people are like, well, do you know anything about something, whatever, fill in the blank. And it's something that you may not know the answer to. You can say, you know what? I'm brand new. I don't know the answer to that. But this thing that we're doing on a Thursday night, either they might answer your question in the group or there will be people. There's some know-it-alls in there. There's a redheaded lady in there. She will tell you anything you need to know. I mean, you can let them know that they will get their question answered and, and they are safe to ask it in that group. Lighthearted. Do you understand how I answered that question? When you go into a situation with a light heart, you get the light heart back from people. If you immediately start going, oh my gosh, I don't know. And you're like, I'll see if I can find that answer out for you. If, if, if it's not a pressing like peanut allergy kind of question, let them find the answer out organically. You know, if they're like, look, I can't be in this group if there are, you know, I don't know why somebody might not be in a able to be group. If there's a reason they can't take it, take a certain thing for religious or allergy purposes, those types of things you might want to find an answer to before you go any further. But most things you're like, hey, don't worry about it. In this group, you can get that answer. This event that's coming up, it will be super easy. While we're on that topic, uh, some accidental brilliance has happened in the Beauty Inside and Out group. It was originally Beauty Inside and Out. And then the accidental brilliance was I, I added the word June to Beauty Inside and Out. And then before I knew it, we had like 1,500 people in there. And then the other accidental brilliance was I changed the word June to July. And then there were 2,000 people in there. And then I was like, hey, how about I just call it in a week or so, I call it beauty inside and out dash gut health because that's the next thing we have coming up, up rather than changing the name to July again because it's July already. If I say on the 23rd, let's say, I say, I let everyone know we are having a gut health and gratitude thing coming up on the 23rd. And for five days, each day, there will be a video posted in there teaching you a little bit about gut health so that 
you are understanding why our products work so well. Whatever, I'll word it better than that. Make sure to look for the hashtag such and such. Okay, I'm basically putting all the stuff in this group and we're not, we're basically not having to re-invite and re-do all the, that kind of stuff. And if you've noticed, I, if I'm going to do a similar, like if I'm going to do a similar posting, I'm trying to change it up a little bit each time that we do it. But if I'm doing similar posting, I go delete the old stuff. So for example, if the first time I did gut glam and then the next time I did finding freedom, which is what we did this past Sunday, um, I'm going to change the hashtag to finding freedom, change the posts up a little bit. There will be different testimonies. I'm trying to leave the live videos in there all the time because of how powerful they are until, until they get really too stacked on top of each other. But I like it that at any given time when you add someone to there that the group is not empty. They can, if they're not busy and they're nosy, they can go click on something and hear something that I feel is useful. And then if I'm, if I plan on doing that same group later, I can go in there and delete all the time, all the, you know, it's like, these are what a half moon nails look like. Do your nails look like this? Are they brittle? Are they this? Are they that? I'll delete that post because we might use it again at some time in the future, but I'm going to try to keep it where uh, we're keeping the topic fresh each time. So the next up is gut health and gratitude, and it's going to be a single video each day for five days. It's going to be different than an online launch party, but a single video for five days um, that if they want to learn more about gut health, the immune system, steroids, autoimmune disorders, how that all applies to what we do. Is everybody following me okay so far? If some of this, I'm going kind of fast and giving you lots of information. If some of it's confusing, um, don't hesitate to um, reach out to who sponsored you or, you know, ask a question on here because we want to make sure everyone's understanding. Um, I feel like, I feel like keeping that same group and just continuing to add people to it. If someone starts feeling like they got held hostage in there, they can get out of there. You understand what I'm saying? But other than that, we're just dripping information on your prospects. They say that the most, that, that mo okay, let me back up. I'm going to give you a st statistic. A network marketing statistic goes like this. Old school network marketing, back before social media, for example, when people were having to invite you to a meeting, go to coffee, go door to door, that kind of stuff, you know, selling. Like when you think of what, what it was like to have to sell Avon or back in the day, maybe Mary Kay or something like that, parties. Back then they said it would take like, I, I want to say 12 exposures or something like that, where it's like, you can't take, I mean, no wonder that was a slow moving era for network marketing because 12 meaningful exposures and you could cut it down. Like if you got really good with your wording and stuff, it didn't have to be 12. So it didn't have to be that you had to take them to 12 meetings, but you might have a phone call with them. And then the next thing you might have a one-on-one -on -one with them have coffee and maybe the next time that you take them to a meeting. And then the next time it's your sponsor and you talking on the three-way call or whatever. That's way cut down, first of all, because of social media. One meaningful exposure might be one live video. They watch it and they go, hmm, it's what meaningful exposures do. And hear me on what I'm about to say, because this is network marketing gold and I'm fixing to give it away. <laughs> meaningful exposures let their guard down. So they go, oh, gosh. But I got in this group thinking I might win a bracelet and then I'm going to get out of here. And then they heard a story about food allergies and their daughter has one and they didn't realize that this could help with that. That's a meaningful exposure. Okay. Another possibility of a meaningful exposure is someone who hoped they could just get in there and, and just to pacify you, you know, like as a friend, they're like, I'm just going to do her a favor, get in there, be nice and say, yeah, I watched your stuff. That was so cool. But then they get in there and they hear somebody like Krista Deary, for example, talk about um, hormonal 
imbalances and how much that can impact your emotional well-being and all this stuff. And they're going, oh my gosh, this girl is like telling me my life story. I didn't dream that something that's for weight loss could possibly do something like that for me, right? Okay, that's for sure a meaningful exposure. The quality of the meaningful exposure, like the meaningful meaningfulness of it, like how meaningful it is to that person, cuts way down on the number that they have to be exposed. Because the truth is, old school network marketing, you get them on the phone and you say, hey, I'm selling this great stuff, and that's not that meaningful, you understand? But if the very first time they're exposed to it, they're crying, yeah, that's meaningful. You've probably cut it in half with the first exposure. Now, the accidental brilliance is that we've added them to a group where there's all kinds of awesome chances to cry and true, authentic stories by ordinary people, people who were like up to their eyeballs in debt and they're not anymore. And eventually something's gonna connect and they're gonna say, I guess she didn't get scammed. I guess I better pay attention to what she added me to. Let their defenses down. That's the gold right there. The network marketing gold that I just gave you is the meaningful exposures are causing them to let their wall down and let the, the possibility of what could happen for them seep in. You know, like it makes them more porous and willing to listen. So, new people, the gold is in our new groups that online groups that we do online events i'm trying to keep them going in an order that makes sense and trying to follow the flow of what the company's doing i'm trying to use my brain thinking okay what would be coming up next right the end of the month of july is people trying to qualify for maui right so you're going to see lots of interesting things happening in july that's why we had this awesome promotion um, while at the same time we have another awesome promotion going on for like, um, the re-rank, you know what I'm talking about everybody. Okay. So I know that this, I've already made this detailed enough that not everybody, everybody's going to watch this and be like, it's not July if you watch this recording later, but I hope everybody's kind of following along. Now, let me, let me find what I was newbies. Trying to think, what could I type in to pull up that note? Here we go. I'm going to do a quick bullet point. Newbies, save your website and your notes. Save the join graphic and the join steps. Um, save a graphic that shows someone how to be a preferred customer. Make a list of 100 people. I don't want to do that. Do it anyway. Make a list and have it handy in your phone. And what you're really looking for is people who have shown interest in the past, people who you have good relationships with. If you, if you run out of people, you're like, I don't, I don't have very many people. And you need to make a list of 100, at least of 100 people to consider reaching out to about this business. You think, man, my brain's just not working. You can get the phone book out and you could start with automotive and be like, all right, who do I know in automotive? Uh, and then go to beauty supplies and then go to car something. You know what I'm saying? Like you're going through ABCs in the, you're not looking for their information. You're just using the categories in the yellow pages to figure out, okay, who do I know that is in, um, you know, interior design? Who do I know that goes to my kid's school? You can do a Frank's list. That's another thing they call it is a Frank's list. Um, friends, relatives, help me out. Friends, relatives, associates, neighbors, people you know through your kids and social, I don't know, something. Okay. Anyway, you get the, you get the clue. Spouses. Is that what it is? I read your mouth. I read your lips. <laughs> yeah people you know through your spouse very good oh school could be school too very good okay and the other bullet point that I've written down is keep an eye on the calendar I try to keep that calendar fresh uh, I try to keep I try my best 
to use my seven years of experience to have an idea of what's gonna be coming up next so that our calendar jives with the company's calendar. So if they're gonna do a promotion, I'm trying to hit right at the time of the promotion when we're doing our parties and stuff like that. So also, if you are a leader yourself, I think this video that we're doing right now should be very effective for you to kind of be thinking, okay, I see what she's doing here. There's a method to that crazy, you know, what she does. I try to keep things fresh and uh, I'm, no, I hope this is helpful. So, okay, let me see if there's anything else I've written for new people. Now, the truth is, if you're a brand new ambassador and this, um, you're watching this video, that right there, what I just told you, can start your business. You could actually become a silver ambassador knowing nothing more than what I've just shared with you. And the reason I say that is because you can talk to your sister and get your sister in a party. A neighbor, someone who owes you a favor, somebody's going to, you can put them in an, in an online group. Let the group do the work for you. You don't have to know what Garcinia Cambogia is to do all of that. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to answer all these questions about the ingredients and all that. Be like, girl, I don't know. I'm brand new, but it sounds fun. Let's look at it together. We don't have to muddy up the water and make this complicated. One other thing, and I, have, I went over this with a friend of mine the other day, and I thought, I just need to touch on that one more time. So during this promotion, I had a lot of people ask me a lot of questions because I had a lot of people added to that group. And so as I'm talking to them, they're liable to say something to me like, can you send me the prices for the joy -Ohm? This is your chance to screw things up really big. Because you start going in, well, you can buy it at retail or wholesale or preferred. And then you want to give them the definition of each one of those things. And it's like immediately they're like, oh, gosh, I'm having to read a manual here. I don't want a job. I don't really want a job. And if that's the way you do it, it's okay. But I want to tell you a smarter thing. Oh, Christy, she does it that way. I can see it on her face. <laughs> Sometimes. Okay. Hey, girl, I did this in the beginning for probably two years. And I realized people were getting like, people were getting like, uh, okay, too much information, too much information. <laughs> so here's what I say. Okay, especially during the time of a promo like we've had. Okay, I'm looking out for the person. And this doesn't go always, this is not always the best way to go. But when there's a promo going on, I'm looking out for that person and I say, the way everyone's purchasing it right now is just to get their own account. I'll send you the steps to follow. And then I say, <laughs> yeah, that was easier, wasn't it? And then I say, you'll click this link and I send them my link. That's a separate, I say, I'll send you the steps to follow. And then I'll say, you'll click this link. That's a separate message so that the link is all by itself. And then I voicemail them and say, now what I'm about to send you, is wordy, detailed, the thing I told you to say earlier, wordy and detailed. If you don't need instructions to go through setting up an account, then you don't need this. But if you want to have it there to look at, you can have it to look at. And then I send them, pre press this, click this, go through the steps. Now, not everyone needs to be an ambassador, and I understand that. What I do when we're in a promotion time and I want everyone to save the most money that they can, which was Yes, I will post this. I will. Um, what I want people, what I, when I want people to save the most money they can during a promotion like we just had, um, especially because Joyome, you can get in a welcome pack and it's like, they're really saving, they're getting a really good savings, okay? So I would, in that instance, I would say, here's what we're going to do. But then in the back of my mind, I, in the back of my mind, I know what I'm going to do next. After they have signed up, I add them to a list of notes in my phone of people who are, I'm going to treat them as though they are still a prospect, not an ambassador. In other words, I'm going to add them to the next group we do. I'm going to tag them because that person is not an ambassador until they're an ambassador. Like they may be officially an ambassador, 
but they're not working the business until, and they're not staying active even until they are on enough products. And it's our job, it's our job to make sure that they fall in love with gut health. In fact, it's Joy Ohm's job to hand them to me. This is the way I see it. Joy Ohm, thank you Joy Ohm for handing me that lady because she loves the beautiful skin you provide. Now it's Lori's job to make sure they fall in love with how to get their immune system right. That's my job. And the way to get their immune system right is to add them to the gut health and gratitude group that's coming up. If they don't know anything about all that, let the gut health and gratitude group educate them. I see some of this. Are we following? Are you, everybody following what I'm saying? Okay. I still am going to tag them in the appropriate things. I'm not going to pretend like they're an ambassador and they're going to start a business. I'm not going to pretend like they know everything they need to know. I'm going to treat them as though they were still a prospect. Okay. Now, the reason I do this is a twofold reason, and I want you to follow me. I do it this way because I need to have a method to this madness. If I have ambassadors out there that are not staying qualified, then I messed up because they should have just been a preferred customer. I would be making a preferred customer bonus off of them. They would be saving their discount. Everything would be better for them to be a preferred customer. But if they're going to have a hundred PV or more every month, they should be an ambassador. And even if you're new and you don't understand why, just trust me when I say this, everyone involved is better off if in the long run, if people who are not qualifying would be qualified and they should be customers instead of ambassadors. Now, in my opinion, no one should ever order retail. I never even offer that option up. If they find it on the website, I say, girl, you just must want to waste some money. There's no reason because you can get your money back if you don't like the stuff. So if they don't want to, you know, if they don't want to get on a monthly purchase or whatever, I understand that, but I tell them you can, ch you can uh, cancel it anytime you want to. Now, I want to repeat the wording that I said. The way everyone's purchased, okay, they've asked me about Joyum. The way everyone's purchasing this right now is just to get their own account. So I'm going to send you the steps to follow. I type that out. And then I say, blah, 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 because detailed instructions, blah, blah, blah. And then I say, I type, I send them the copy and paste of the detailed instructions. And then I say, hey, if you have any trouble with this, let me know. Then I watch my email, and if I don't get something in the next little bit, I say, you have any trouble with that? Let me know. Sometimes it can get glitchy. Might be some hiccup. If you have a hiccup, let me know. Whatever, I just, I use lighthearted wording. I use everything. <clears throat> everything is lighthearted and friendly. Okay, is everybody following me here? Now, if you've been doing this and you've been giving people too much information, that may be the only thing that's holding you back in your business. Lots of times, like it held me back in my business for a long time. I got into the difference between wholesale and retail. And as soon as you start doing that, people start thinking, I don't want to do this as a business because I don't want to have to remember all that information. Because you think of the fact that like, okay, if, I, if she has to remember it to tell it to me, then I have to remember it to tell it to my mom. There's no reason to have to remember all that. If anybody disagrees with me, they need to speak up now. Now, if it's not during a promotion and someone asks you, okay, how much, how much does Plexus cost? Is there any way to answer how much does Plexus cost without getting more information from them? No. If they, their sole question is, hey, I've been seeing you post about that stuff, how much does it cost? This is not a candle where you sell one candle and it's $8. You don't know. There is no way to answer that. And sending them a price list, price list is a bad, bad idea because they look at it. They don't know what they need either. You, it's your job. <laughs> it's your job to extract information from this person in the light, most lighthearted way that you can. And the way you do that is say, well, tell me something. And I can, I can answer you better if you'll share some information with me. I really need to know 
specifically what you have going on health wise what are your health goals and for example are you looking for more energy would you like to sleep better do you struggle with allergies because these are things that people don't think of they're gonna sometimes might even tell you they're healthy when they actually have all three of those things going on and then you could say and are you on any prescriptions those four things do you need more for example you say for example do you need more energy sleep better um you have allergies or are you on any prescriptions you're saying for example so that way they go oh well yeah i mean pretty much all that and then they might also say and i'm on lipitor <laughs> or yeah i've been taking viagra <laughs> i'm just kidding but you know what i'm saying like whatever it is whatever thing that they might have they might not have even thought to tell you they could literally have a medicine cabinet or no a nightstand full of lotions and potions and ointments and antacids and like all the stuff that you keep on your night side stand, night side thing like stuff to rub on your hands and rub on your feet and things that, that they wouldn't need that stuff anymore but they think they're healthy because they haven't had to go to the doctor in two months right okay you're trying to extract information from them because you do not know what to tell them until they answer that now if you don't know the answer to what products they need in the beginning i'm just going to tell you you know how have you if you've ever took the act and the and they say, you know what, if you get to one and you just don't know the answer, the answer, just put C. C, statistically speaking, more often than not, the answer is C. So if you don't know the answer and you, and you can't rule out C, choose C. Okay. C in this example is the triplex. Okay. I'm even going to go as far as to say C in this answer is hunger control triplex for your average person. And the reason I say that is because um, most people are wanting to lose weight, <laughs> not everyone, but most people are wanting to lose weight and are gonna experience probably less die off side effect type symptoms on hunger control in the beginning. Not everyone, but if you're looking for what's the C, what's gonna work for most people, it's the triplex, specifically hunger control triplex, okay? Now, the reason, if you wanna know the depths of why that works, join one of my gut health and gratitude groups, which is coming up on the 23rd, and it will walk you through the steps of, okay, this is how the immune system works, this is why people get sick, this is what steroids do, and this is how people get well, and it's gonna, step by step pan out for people why the triplex gets results that are like boom head to toe types of results because that doesn't make sense to most people they're like i don't understand how you take three products and it's like making your eyelashes grow it's making your hair grow it got rid of the warts on the bottom of your feet and you don't have a rash under your boob and all these things right it doesn't make sense they don't understand it you have to put them in one of those groups Maybe you need to participate in one of those groups so that you can understand it better as well. Okay. One second. I'm trying to think of anything else that in the beginning you can flub up. I think that the number one thing for new ambassadors is short and simple answers back to people when they ask you a question because long answers tend to overwhelm people if you're talking to them on Facebook and they're like hey um how much does it cost and you go into all of the everything overwhelming them causes them to open the message and then never say anything back that's how you know you've overwhelmed someone so if you've done that if you've gotten where they open the message and you go gosh I sent them like three pages worth of info and they didn't even respond back that's the problem you have to put yourself in their shoes and go, okay, they probably, they probably were like, God, I don't want to know all that. I just want to know, is it going to fit in my budget? So short and sweet and end with a question, just like who said that? Yeah, Jill, short and sweet. And then you say something back to them like, is that what you were looking for? Or, or, or is there anything specific going on with your health or 
whatever. You just find a simple, short question to ask them back because that keeps, that's called what I call bouncing the ball. It's like they asked you a question, you answer it, and then you ask them a question. It's just like being on the phone with someone, right? Back and forth, back and forth. That's how it works. And it's short answers. And I don't mean evasive answers, but I'm saying friendly. You don't want to get a text. How often do you open up something and you go, you, if you scroll more than twice, you think, God, I'm going to read that later. I don't have time to read that right now. Like I could tell you literally about a hundred times a day or a week, I should say. That happens to me on the regular where I'm like, okay, if somebody wrote me a chapter book, I don't have time to read right now. Okay. So if you're doing that to people, you're pushing them away. Also, if you're a person that likes all the information, you're more, you're going to more tend to want to give all the information and you need to know that you are in the very slim minority. Most people don't want all the answers. They just want to know the answer to the exact question they asked you. So I call that puking plexus on people and then they don't like it. They don't want you to do that. They automatically think that's what I thought. They go, that's what I thought. This thing is going to be full of too much information. And, and as a job, I don't want it. I don't need another job. People don't want to look at something and think they need a job. They want to say, does it work? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like they want to know, does it work? Does it fit my need? And can I afford it? And the afford thing, I'm going to tell you right now, if you have a block in your head about if you think Plexus is expensive, you're going to project that to people. When you answer, you're going to be defensive about you're going to be like, well, let me explain something to you. Wait, 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 I just want to explain it. Here's the thing. I say when people say something about, I don't know if I can afford that. I say, I understand. I felt the same way. Turns out I quit drinking soda pop and I was spending more money on soda pop. So it ended up being a wash for me before I even started making money with Plexus. But um, maybe you have a habit or something that would go away, you know, like energy drinks or candy, daily candy bars or something like that maybe that would help you kind of justify it in your mind. And then you say, does that make sense? That's the question I ask them. Does that make sense? And let them ponder on that. Does it make sense? Is there something I could maybe give up or maybe is there something that I wouldn't need anymore for lots of people? I'm going to tell you some things that people don't need anymore. Antifungal creams, yeast infection kits, stuff for ringworm. Yeah. Those are just like in the very beginning. Okay. Um, stuff for eczema stuff for, and I'm talking about, um, you know, I'm talking about lotions and potions right now and acids. These are things on your nightstand. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the more expensive things. Oh, Ambien. I don't know how expensive that is, but it's a, it's a doozy. They might not need, um, well, marital counseling for one. I'm just going to say like, if hormones are a problem, like hormonal, like struggles, I'm just going to tell you, this is cheaper than marital counseling and seems to work better because if you're just happier in general, and I didn't know that I had a blood sugar, if you didn't read my status the other day talking about my chemical imbalance, that was a true story for me. I didn't even know that I had a chemical imbalance. I just knew that I felt off. I would felt awful and I felt off all the time. And for most people, you might be on the verge of, of saving someone's life offering these products to them. I mean, these products changed my life so dramatically that I can just almost say that. It's like the best thing ever. And so for me, any of those things above and beyond what I expected, which I was like, man, if I could lose 10 pounds, if they'd have said, and your allergies will go away, I'd have been like, sold? What? Allergies? I've been struggling with allergies my whole life. Never would, if they said, hey, it might even help with you, you know, if you're postpartum or depression or whatever, you know, if there's something that you know about them that they have listed or it's a friend of yours, you can always say, uh, to be honest with you, you'll probably sleep a lot better and immediately. Some people, they might take something to help them sleep and some people, here's a fact, even if they do, they still can't sleep. Lots of people. Or if they sleep, they don't get good sleep. And do you know how many people I know that would give $100 a month just to be able to sleep? Let's, let's just put it this way. Have you ever been a, not able to sleep in any given night 
And if it was going to cost you $3 a day, you just said, let me find my purse. I mean, seriously, I got to get through tomorrow. Yeah. For $3, you'd be laying it down all day long every day. You'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. $3 a day. I'm going to, I want my sleep way better than getting a root 44 drink at the Sonic, right? Like this is real life things that we're dealing with people. Okay. I'm hoping that this has been helpful for anyone who is a little nervous about the business. I'm going to close this out in a quick prayer so that we can share this video with our um, teams, new people, and you can feel like um, we covered all the bases without getting too crazy. And we prayed without getting too crazy, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so it's, we're comfortable sending this video to people, all right? All right. Gut Health Group starts the 23rd. Oh, okay. Becky uh, messaged me about that. Because uh, he just, he, he, I'm sure he has the information, just hadn't sent it to you yet. For the prizes and stuff on, we haven't sent that no, information. No, for the other people who donated prizes. Oh, no, I'll send all that out tomorrow. He's doing that tomorrow. Huh? okay so okay god we just come to you tonight with hopeful hearts uh i feel um i feel this new season has come on us so like a big wave a crashing wave in a good way i'm so excited for our businesses i'm excited for for um new possibilities in the future and like dreaming hearts like you know dreamers hearts that's what i feel like it's the theme right now feeling the freedom to dream big over our businesses and with our families and relationships god that you would be coming in and mending mending hearts and um working on relationships between people god i pray that you would be um ever present when we're working our business and giving us concise information and putting on our hearts the things that people need to know when we're talking to them, the best ways to actually help people. You know, sometimes someone's leading with a certain thing, like this is what's going on or that's what's going on. And God, if you just put it on our heart to share with them a story of our own, if that's what would really help them have a breakthrough in their life. Sometimes God will do that. He does that for me all the time for other people. He gives me, um, you know, a notion to tell something that maybe I don't know something going on in their life. And I'm just grateful, grateful that he works in that way. God, I thank you as we work together as teams and we're sharing information. I'm, just, I'm grateful for the um, spirit of teamwork on this team and the spirit of willingness to share and help others who you don't necessarily financially benefit for. And God, I'm super, I'm super um, grateful for this opportunity having been brought into my life. I'm super grateful for the products and the way that they changed my life, the way they changed for a lot my life for so many of my family members who desperately needed them. I just want to speak life over your business tonight. I want to speak, speak breakthrough for you and creative ideas over the next steps that you take and that God would give you light bulb moments about who needs what we have so that your attempts are, as you reach out, that your attempts are matches. You know, have you ever played that game? What, that's what I'm seeing in my mind's eye right now, that game where you're flipping over a strawberry and over here you flip over a strawberry and it's like that God would give you instances like that over and over where you're reaching out to people because he's put them on your heart because they're a match for this business or they're a match for these products. I mean, isn't that what it's all about? God, send me people who are a match. God, send my team people who are a match. God, I'm grateful every day for the joys, that, joys and the blessings that you put in our lives, and I'm grateful for even past seasons, lesson seasons, gr growth, 
trial seasons that we have gone through and the growth that has come from those seasons. I just speak a wind of acceleration and a wind of healing over each one of you here, whether it's a physical healing or a healing for your heart tonight. If there's something that feels like it's broken and needs mending, that the, that the oil of the Holy Spirit would just pour down on you right now and that you would literally have angelic intervention on your behalf. I lift all this up in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. Okay. You're wanting this. I will upload it to YouTube. And is that what you're asking me? I'll upload this um, video to YouTube right now and I'll get it onto the butterfly page. Is that what you're asking me? I don't know if I'm talking to Don or Greg. It looks like I'm probably talking to Greg. Yes. Oh, the notes. Yes, I will definitely, um, um, I'll, I'll get the link to this video in the notes from tonight so that everybody has access to that um, right away, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to I'm gonna keep talking, but I'm going to close out the um, meeting so that this video doesn't go more than an hour. Eek. Um,